What's up? What's going on this morning? It is a cold Sunday morning here in Illinois. And today is Sunday. I I guess you could consider this the start of uh, of my new week, I guess. I don't know. It depends on how I'm going to how I'm going to do this video. It always changes. I am here in Moni, Illinois at the Petro. About to go in here and get me some breakfast right quick. I tell you, better be careful out here. Winter driving ain't no joke. I tell you, these tires on these trucks, they're not snow tires. They're definitely not snow tires. So you gotta definitely be careful on what you're doing out here. I am here at Craft picking up my trailer. Trailer number 91871. I hid it in the bag so nobody else won't take it. In winter situations like this, free trip is key. You just got to be careful, all right? If driving becomes, becomes a real issue, then it's time to pull over for safety's sake. Look at that. Look how deep that is. That is deep. Yeah, that's that's deep out there, man. That's no joke. Alright, well I don't have to uh I don't have to set up anything. I already set everything up. It's not about driving the truck. Anybody can drive the truck. What you got what you gotta drive is you gotta drive the trailer. <laughs> That's what you gotta drive. It's all about driving the trailer. And um, with that driving the trailer, that's where the experience, driving experience comes into play. Gonna have to break out the boots. <laughs> Gonna have to break out the boots. Gonna have to leave the um, gonna have to leave the shoes in the uh in the truck for for a while now didn't have to didn't have to break out the boots but but now but now since there's about a couple of inches a couple of inches deep on the ground I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to break out the good boots so you definitely got to have a pair of boots I, I don't care what you do there's a lot of flip-flop wearing drivers out here and you know they they seem they seem not to understand excuse me they they seem not to understand uh, what it is out here to to be working in these conditions you know flip-flops and shoes are not made for these type of conditions. I just want to let you guys know something right quick. If you have a GPS or anything like that, you have like a Garmin or, or a Ram and Nally, preferably a Ram and Nally. Definitely save all the locations that you that you go to. Because some of these locations, like Mars, that I'm on my way to right now, is not on the GPS. So, of 
45 mile drive takes about an hour and a half to get over here. The weather and the and the roads is real bad. 45 miles, I was doing like 25. I was I was at least doing half of what the speed limit was to get over here. So now that I am over here, I got to pick up this load that's going up to Minnesota. That sucks. That sucks. JNR Swoogle, if you're watching this video, you guys really need to concentrate on getting more equipment. I gotta I gotta back up to door. Gotta back up to door 108. Now that I got my door assignment, I'm about to go ahead and uh go and back up to it. 108 is the assigned door that I am about to go to. So Paperwork done. Load is loaded. Paperwork in hand. Now it's time to get moving. It's time to get moving. Now being that the weather is kind of shitty and, and bad, my plans to get up to Minnesota is still on for today. I will be confident enough to say that I would get it there today. So my plans to get it up to Minnesota is still on for today. If not, then I will definitely be there tomorrow morning. Kind of hoping that the weather. A new message has arrived. Kind of hoping that the weather don't prevent it for me though. When constant reports of ice covered roads from I-35 down to I-80 in Minnesota and Iowa. I am going up through that area as a matter of fact because I got, I'm got i going through uh, 8094 through Illinois and then 9094 heading up to uh, Minnesota going through Wisconsin. And then I am going to be traveling a little bit through 80. So, yeah, definitely going to have to Definitely gonna have to be careful there. Gonna have to be careful and, and watch and watch what I'm doing. It's all about it's all about good decision making while while you're driving in these kind of conditions. This is a perfect time to start learning how to drive a truck because you will experience these types of road conditions and you'll know what to do. The next winter, when I mean when next winter comes around, you'll know what to do. I'm copping some cryptocurrency, environmentally mindful. Donate to save the elephants and yelling at people who don't recycle. I'm spiteful, out rapping each and every rival. Till the day I'm sitting on the title. See, I'm so dope that you gon' have to look. Beating me don't ever happen. Like Lil Yachty reading chapter books. Mr. Babadook, I'm hopping right off of the page. Popping off like Call of Duty as I'm tossing grenades. And I'm sick of all these cats who try to defend mumble rap. These old heads just don't get it. They just some grumpy ass, out of touch motherfuckers stuck up in the fucking past. I'm not even 30 and I think that shit is fucking trash. If you're a rapper, you should fucking rap. Don't say the same thing front to back on the whole fucking track. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, really, what the fuck is that? I'll say what everyone's thinking. Lil Pump is whack. Off day. Today's an off day today, y'all. Today is Wednesday. And I am up here at the Flying J up in South Beloit. I ran out of hours last night, so I wasn't uh I wasn't getting back no hours to drive today. My fleet manager sent uh one of the local drivers over here in Chicago to uh, grab the load that I was on. 
you know, because being that today's my day off, technically, you know, I went over to uh, Walmart right quick to uh, get some Walmart shopping in. Take advantage of your off days. You know, get the important stuff done, like food, <laughs> cleaning, a little bit of editing, <laughs> you know, or just chill. But before I do all of that though, now, I know you guys came here to my channel for a specific reason. And I do appreciate you guys coming for that specific reason. But today I'm gonna have to talk about YouTube. YouTube is uh, demonetizing everybody and they changing their policies on how you get monetization. You know, I'm, I'm still getting paid. I'm still getting, you know, getting a check every month. From Granted, it's not, a, it's not much, but it's, it's something. Really start on this platform and, and think you guys gonna come in here and start making some money like all these big YouTubers out there? That's not gonna work. Hell, for every click, you're only gonna get like maybe one or two cents per click on your video if an ad is ran on that video. So why would they, why would, why would CR England partner you with somebody that don't have, I, I'm gonna say adequate experience. Mm. I don't know. That's the thing. I, I would rather. I'm getting evaluated for my upgrade to mm. become a second C driver. That person not only passed me, but she passed someone else who was encroached on the other side. Right. So the way I see it is if this guy's encroached, what's going to happen if there actually was another truck? Well, I am glad the casino is right down the street from this pilot. I wouldn't want to park here at all. I gotta stop here right quick before 12 o'clock so I can get my paperwork in. I gotta scan my paperwork before 12. And if I don't do that, I won't have a good paycheck this week. I'm anticipating on having a good paycheck this week and next week and week after that and the weeks after that. So you wanna know how we get paid out here? Well, we got to do the paperwork right here for the building later. And then whenever you get a chance to, and if you had a truck stop, they have these kiosks right here called Transflow. Now the same, this is the same Transflow that I talked about uh, a couple of videos ago about uh, the top 10 or the top five apps that, uh, that you guys that I told you guys about. Sometimes I don't use the uh, Transflow app. I don't use the Transflow app all the time. I, I, do, I use it like in tight situations. Like if I know I'm not gonna make it to a truck stop or something like that, that's when I'll use it. Because the time that we, that we need, the time that we need to uh, get our paperwork in is every Monday before 12 o'clock. And sometimes you just won't be able to make it over to a truck stop before 12 o'clock. Get in and transload out. Come on over to the truck stop and uh, knock it out. That's what I do. See, basically what I try to do is try to get the paperwork in before 24 hours. But you you can save it up and uh, and scan it all in at once. But what I try to do, I, I try to scan it in every time I get to a truck stop. And then, like I said before, once I'm at a shipper or a receiver or at a receiver to get unloaded, I would then unload that way. And then I'll scan, I'll upload it that way. I don't think his uh I don't think his reefer is running right. <laughs> he might want to get that checked. <laughs> What's 
What's up, everybody? What's going on this morning? Well, check it out, man. This is McLean out here in Northfield, Minnesota. Well, that is it. Paperwork in hand, already signed, hooked up to my trailer, already hooked up. Now it's time to get over to Gaylord and pick up uh, pick up a load from there that's going back over to Illinois. I am off tomorrow. I don't have no hours to drive. Let's get over to Illinois and pretty much we'll probably end this vlog at that too. Hmm. No, it won't be in. I got a question for you guys. For you, for you, uh, you know, this is for truckers too. For you guys that smoke, right? How do you do it? How is it possible for you guys to actually stand out here smoking a cigarette? I mean, you guys look like freaking Eskimos over there, man. I don't get it, man. It, it's too damn cold to be just just to be standing outside. Look at my hands, man. How do you do it, man? How do you guys go outside? in the cold i can understand if it's warm or butt ass freezing i don't get it i don't get it i you know i'm just curious to know today is no time to be wasting the day man i am like on a really really real tight schedule when they mean keep that left door shut that left door gonna have to be shut today Well, all right, all right, all right. What's good? What is good as you guys can see? It's sunny out there. And it's, I don't know what it is out there. It's, it's something, it's something. It's coming up in a minute. Everything's gonna pop on. It is 23. You have two hours and 44 minutes of remaining drive time. Why, thank you, Qualcomm. I really appreciate that. That's what I was gonna talk about. <laughs> I was going to run, you know, run down my four hours that I had this morning when I picked up the load. Well, that's exactly what I did. I ran it all the way down to like 10 minutes and I got right here to this Loves that's right here in Wisconsin. Now, I'm not far from Illinois. Technically, I'm not far from my drop either. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it. Um... I got two hours and 44 minutes left on my clock, just as Qualcomm said. And uh, I got three hours. Let's see. Google says I got three hours, not counting the traffic, three hours and 14 minutes to actually get there. All right. So I'm going to be shot of an hour. Got, uh, got on a horn right quick. Set common match message to my fleet manager. Let them know that hey, uh, I won't be able to make it uh, make it on time for tomorrow's delivery, and uh, send me some advice. How much time you got left, and you know where you're gonna be? And I said, well, I got, you know, the two hours and 44 minutes, and I will probably be in South Beloit at the uh, Flying Jack. Got on the horn, did his thing, sat, called me back, and said, hey, somebody coming to pick it up. So I was like, hey very good so once i get that fresh 70 i'll start all over again and get the rocking and that's how you do it that's how i do it that's how i'm going to do it and there you have it Sopreto, or however you pronounce this place they got me done ready to roll about to go up in here and get my paperwork and this is what they got in here now i don't know exactly what that stuff is but this is what I get all the time when I come here. So I have to take it up to craft up in New Orleans or probably drop it at my terminal. What can I say about my fleet manager, man? You guys know that every video that I make, I always have something to say about my fleet manager. I'm telling you, my man is on the ball. Well, no luck for me tonight. Everybody finally made it here to New Arm right quick. Dropped my trailer. I thought I was going to get another trailer, but there's none here. 
and that's it i know you guys it's dark i know you can barely see me but i'm heading back to the truck so i'm about to go ahead and end it right now it's done it's over with this trip is done i got another trip down to indiana don't know how that's gonna go but i'm gonna get down there about to go and shut down for the night got some paperwork got the new fuel book got things i needed for the truck and that's about it i am done i am finished you guys know what to do so i'm not even going to mention it so catch me on the next video you guys take care and have a blessed one peace